Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz with me, Fujits. Hello. Ah, the Type 59 Ding. This is a Chinese Tier 8 medium tank. Pretty decent tank, unfortunately. I played it yesterday, and wow, you know, whilst the tank is decent, the teams weren't, and I really struggled to get some decent footage. In fact, I only won two games in the damn thing, and they weren't good enough to show, so you're seeing a loss. But hey, that's Blitz, that's how it works, and I really couldn't be bothered to continue with that MM, so I gave up the ghost. But enough about the games and the MM, what about the tank? Wow, I like the ding. I think the ding's a nice little tank. At the moment, it's in the shop for 6,000 gold, which apparently Wargaming say is a 55% discount, mainly because they... Uh, put in there the legendary camo and everything else and they bumped the price up to like close to 14k it is a nice tank it's not the easiest tank to play but it has got for a chinese tank a pretty decent gun it's got pretty decent rock solid turret armor uh it, okay the hull think of a t62a the hull is a little bit paper thin and you will get penned but the turret armor is pretty, pretty, pretty hot. It's got a, it's not exactly the most mobile of tanks, but it has got a decent turn of speed when you want it. As I said, one of the things that I really like about the ding is that you really can throw it around quite a lot if you if you know how to. And the gun is pretty good. Unfortunately, the team here is collapsing, and we're not going to win this game. In, like I said, but you will get to see what the din can do, and here we go, boom, straight past the IS-3, put one into him, and we're going to circle back and, well, basically show you what this thing can do. I like the ding. For 6,000 gold, I tell you what, that's not a bad deal, to be honest with you. I said the other day that uh, they've got uh, some few, like the Panzer Mutz is in the store at the moment, it's a little bit more expensive, it's, it's a little bit cheaper at 5,500 gold, but... A toss-up between these two? Well, they're both pretty decent tanks. I said the Panzer 58 was a steal. This is also, realistically, a steal when you consider some of the prices of some of the tanks at Tier 8. The Ding, again, it's not a must-have tank, but it is a fun tank, and it is it is pretty, pretty cool to play. I, I like the Ding. Uh, I don't like the MM, but, but I like the Ding. I think the Ding is a beautiful little tank. And you could go far worse, but you're not getting this one. So, again, if you've got that extra 6,000 gold just hanging around, waiting there to do something with, you could go far, far worse than getting a ding. As I said, not a must-have tank, but a decent tank to have in your garage, and one that you will roll out with in more often than not. So, give it a look. Let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments below, as always. After all, this is a two-way street. It's not just me telling you what to do. You're meant to feed back and tell me what you think. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Hope your MM is better than mine. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.